because my son, who um, is an injured soldier, has come to do some demonstration driving with an adapted cart, um, which will enable him to use just hand controls. Some of his injuries are that he's, he's lost his legs, so he obviously can't use the, the standard carts. Um, and a very kind gentleman has brought down some adaptation gear for him, and he's going to just see how he gets on using adapted karting. And how does it feel for you to sort of see, because this wasn't that long ago, was it? I mean, it no, it was only uh, five months ago that, that Ash was injured. It's fantastic to see him getting back into the swing of things. Um, for, to, as a parent, to be able to see your youngster you know, injured is, is absolutely awful. Um, but to see that there are people around that can help promote normal living is, is absolutely amazing. And if anybody had asked me five months ago, you know, if anybody had said, oh, he'll be back doing karting and things, I wouldn't have believed that it, would, you know, it could be true that this quickly the guys can be back in and, and being able to do such things, but it is fantastic and it's such a morale boost for them to be able to get out there with everybody else, doing what everybody else does. It's really good to see. My hope is that more karting tracks will become accessible for injured soldiers, injured, anybody that's, that has injuries that limit their mobility uh, maybe, and it can, they can be introduced into more karting tracks. Um, so that guys all over the country can get the benefit of this. Um, yeah, that, that would be really good. Unbelievable. Yeah. If, if you get his, his face when he takes that helmet off, he's just going to be beaming. Absolutely beaming, isn't he? So, yeah, no, it's amazing. I think it's amazing because obviously Ash was a really outgoing person before his accident. Um, he did lose a lot of his confidence and he still does think that there's a lot of things he can't do so for him to be able to go go-karting he'll be able to go with his friends and just basically have a as normal life as he possibly can really. What's it like you, you know you've obviously five months ago you took a, a, a bomb blast how does it feel? Uh, pretty surprising it's the first time we've got a lap time out of, uh, out of it but yeah it's good to nice to have a bit of normality back in life and uh, be able to give some of these a run for their money. But yes, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling, especially getting out and driving again, because I love driving. What's it like to drive? Obviously, you know, you would have been used to a wheel. How, how, dif how difficult is it to adapt for you? Not that much different, really. It's much like a, a bike sort of system, or like sort of a quad feel to it. Uh, it takes a couple of laps to get used to, but it's, it's a good system to use, definitely, yeah. And how does it feel physically? I mean, do you, do you find it difficult? Well, with some of the injuries, hand injuries I've got, um, it was it was quite difficult. It took a bit of uh, adapting and, and moving the paddles about to get used to to being able to brake hard uh, around some of the, the hairpin corners and that. But obviously, yeah, like I said, it takes a bit of getting used to, but it's it's a good feeling. Disability is a really negative word. Um, don't diss anybody's ability because it's. Inside, Ash is still exactly the same as Jade said. He, he is a lively 20-year-old young man, as are so many of the guys that are coming back from injured from Afghan now. Um, they just want to be able to get on with life and just get out there and, and be treated as normal. Um, and this is a great opportunity for, for Ash to demonstrate that these injuries don't need to hold you back from doing anything at all. There are wonderful pieces of technology out there and we must take advantage of them and you know get on and, and get things done it's brilliant